In question 5 of this exercise, the problem statement says, in a triangle ABC, angle C is equal to 3 times angle B is equal to 2 times angle A plus angle B. Find the three angles. Now, this is a problem that does not really require us to set up a pair of linear equations in two variables. We can even solve it uh, with a, by setting up an equation in just one variable. And let me first show you that. And then we will see how we can do this by setting up a pair of linear equations. So I'm going to do this using two approaches. So let's call the first approach, approach one. And in this, I'm going to use only a single variable. So I have angle C is equal to three times angle B. So I'm going to assume that angle B is equal to X degrees. This means that angle C is equal to three times angle B or three X degrees. And then from this pair of uh, terms being equal, I have three times angle B is two times angle A plus angle B or two times angle A plus two times angle B. And this gives me angle B is two times angle A, which means that angle A is half of angle B. So I can write this as angle A is equal to X by two degrees. So what I've done is I have written all the three angles of the triangle in terms of this variable X. And now I can use the fact that the sum of these three angles should be equal to 180 degrees. And this means that X plus 3X plus X by 2, the sum of the three angles, this should be equal to 180. And what do I get here? I get X plus 3X is 4X and 4X plus X by 2 is 9X by 2. So 9X by 2 should be equal to 180 or X should be equal to 180 into 2 by 9 or 40. So X is 40, which means that angle B is equal to 40 degree and angle C is thrice of angle B so that this should be equal to 120 degree and angle A is X by 2 degree. So angle A should be equal to 20 degree. So that's the answer. Angle A, angle B, angle C are 20 degree, 40 degree and 120 degree respectively. So we did this without uh, assuming two variables, but now let's do this same problem by assuming two variable, two variables. So let's say that angle A is X degrees and angle B is Y degrees. So let's see what equations we can set up in X and Y. So if I compare this equality, th three angle B uh, equal to two angle A plus angle B, I can write this as three angle B or three Y is equal to two times A plus B or two times X plus Y. So if I expand this, I get three Y is equal to two X plus two Y. And this I can write as two X minus Y is equal to zero. So this is the first equation that we get in X and Y. The second equation we can obtain by taking this equality angle C is equal to three angle B. Now I can first write angle C as 180 minus X minus Y degrees because the sum of the three angles is 180 degrees and two of those angles are X degree and Y degree. So the third angle will be 180 minus X minus Y degrees. And now I have angle C is equal to three angle B. So 180 minus X minus Y should be equal to three times angle B or three times Y. And from here I can get X plus four Y is equal to 180. So this is another linear equation in X and Y. Let's call it equation two. Now to solve this pair of equations one and two, I note that the coefficient of X in the first one is two and in the second one is one. So let's multiply the second equation by two. That will give me two X plus eight by equal to 360. And let's call this equation three. Now we can subtract equations one and three. So let me do three minus one and that will eliminate the X terms. So the two X, two X will get canceled and I will have eight Y minus minus Y. 
so that's 9y on the LHS and on the RHS I will have 360 minus 0 or 360 and this gives me y equal to 40 and from y equal to 40 I can substitute this into the first equation and I will get 2x minus 40 equal to 0 or x is equal to 20. So this means that angle A x degree is equal to 20 degrees, angle B which is y degree is equal to 40 degrees and angle C which is 180 minus x minus y this is equal to 120 degrees. So this is exactly the same answer that we obtained in approach 1. The only difference is that in approach 1 we set up the equations in a single variable and in approach 2 we assumed two variables but essentially we did the same thing. So the answer is that the three angles are 20 degree, 40 degree and 120 degree. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.